we're just running <laughs> around the bus station. <laughs> like some crazy people. <laughs> Good morning! Welcome to breakfast! I'm having the best rolls ever again with the, with the cheese. I just simply love it that he's still packing. So I, because I'm slow eater, I already went downstairs to the breakfast buffet. And then later we have to check out. Best rolls ever. I'm going to miss these. I've only had like two and a half, three hours of sleep, something like that. I didn't, you know, end the vlog yesterday because I was so tired, but it was it was really a fun night. I danced my butt off. The music was more radio than hip hop and than real hip hop and R&B, but still fun songs and everything. Uh, I have to say, <laughs> the, the Czech men are definitely not shy at all. They are very, very, um, you know, they are not shy to approach you or any, anything, but um, they are very, how do you say that, very polite when you decline or anything. So that was, it was a really nice night out and we came back around, I think, 4.30, something like that. So now I'm just going to relax a little bit for 10 more minutes in this nice bed. Mm -hmm. And then we have to check out. Unfortunately, it's not the nicest weather today, but... This view is still drop that gorge. Too bad we have to leave today. Oh. And Nadine is here too again. Hey, morning, morning. <laughs> yeah. How are your feet? Oh, they are <laughs> so sore. Yeah, we walked I feel a lot like yesterday. like a grandma. Seriously. Yeah. I can't too. even walk properly. <laughs> <laughs> we would rather sleep, but we're going to a fun place. We're going to the food market, Yay! the Saturday food market. It's supposed to be amazing. Everybody recommends it online. On my Pinterest, I have like dozens of articles where the food market is, well, actually that's a little bit, maybe that's a little bit over the top. I have a couple of artic oh, articles that I found and they all recommend the food market. So should be fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's try it out. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I completely forgot to mention, but the hotel is located very nearby a metro station. It's like, how much like maybe a seven minute walk something yeah, like yeah. that yeah. very convenient and it's only uh three stops from the old center so where we went yesterday and now we're going to the food market it's also only a couple of stops so i love the location too i just thought you might want to know you know because for me location of the place where i'm staying in a city is also super important you don't want to be in a dodgy neighborhood or you know very far it's okay to be a little bit further outside of the center but it, it's not nice to be far away from a metro stop so yeah hotel amethyst is perfect location in my book and here we are this was just a three minute metro ride awesome so this market is only here on saturday oh it's really like a farmer's market with homemade stuff let's see if we can find some good food here look at these cute easter cookies and the beautiful cupcakes and a beautiful cake oh my gosh oh wait this is like oh these are like thicker cookies this is really cute and some homemade jams oh this is so cute and people are just chilling here like it's a festival with a bottle of wine and a baguette that's a nice Saturday morning. So we've just been here for five minutes and we already passed the market. It's not that big of a market. They have really cute stuff. Lots and lots and lots of pies and cakes and stuff like that. But it's just not that big. Like I, I was expecting a little bit like Borough Market or something like that. Or uh, I don't know, just our own food markets in Amsterdam. But this is quite a small one. It's cute. It's cute. It's, it's nice if you want to go for lunch or something. But... Yeah, I don't know if it's so musty. What do you guys think? Any of you guys who've been to Prague, what do you think? Like, am I missing something? Am I missing a street? I don't know. Well, we just arrived at the wine food market, but it's like a bakery or something like the food halle, like we have in Amsterdam. So you just pick your food and you sit at the tables over there. Looks cute though. We just found it on the, on the map. 
Ah, we're going to pick something. Oh, look at the cute newspaper lamps. And when you go through these doors, you end up in a little bit of a, yeah, like a, I don't know, like a farmer's market indoor. A little bit like marked what we have in, uh, in Amsterdam. This is kind of cute. Lots of cheese. Your girl loves cheese. Lol, Nadine went all out with the cake. She saw some, uh, well, she saw a lot that she liked. So she took two for now. And this is one with strawberries and cream, I guess. And this one is like an ice cream cake. And she wanted to take a third one. <laughs> but I was like, okay, eat this first and then order a uh, third one if you want them. And I can't eat, man, because I'm still so full <laughs> from the breakfast. It's now like 12. 12 p.m. I guess, but uh, yeah, maybe later. By the way, there's a guy. I don't know if you can see him, like over here. He's playing live piano. This is such a cute place. We we thought it was like, like maybe just a shop or something, but it's really like very cool to eat here in the weekend. And you know, if you want to buy some Czech food or something like that, it's cute. And we're back in the almost in the old center because it's that way. But this is the dancing building. We already saw it last night when we were returning for the club because the club is like here around the corner actually, nearby the river. So over here is the river. This and here's the Dells. Huh? Bunny? bunny? Where? There. Where? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a bunny! Look! Look! Let's go hug the bunny. Oh, look at the bunny. He, he looks He's a bit sad. Look at his posture. He wants to hump? No. <laughs> No. Oh, oh, he's cute. Look at that. Hello, bunny. Hello. <laughs> Hi. He doesn't have any eyes. Oh, he does have eyes. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Oh, hello. <laughs> and the bunny is a better attraction than the dancing building. Look at that. Different angle, the dancing building. You know what I love? The contrast between this very modern part with this very traditional part. It looks so pretty. When I was reading up about Prague, uh, some articles said that Vietnamese food and Asian food is currently a huge trend over here. So we're just going to try this random wok and sushi restaurant to see if they have some nice Asian food and especially I need some vegetarian food so no fish let's see if they have it dude the Vietnamese spring rolls I need them in my life I'm gonna ask if they can make them without the shrimp maybe with some tofu that would be really nice or maybe with some nuts Ooh, that would be good so unfortunately they couldn't make the spring rolls without the shrimp I was asking them to replace it with tofu but the guy was like no that will not taste good so this is what I picked for an alternative meal this is just a Thai curry with tofu and over here we have some rice and Nadine is still full of all of her cakes yeah. Yummy in her tummy. It's such a pretty city. It's Disneyland. Somebody commented on Instagram. It was so hilarious Somebody commented or is Disneyland part of Prague? <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist! <laughs> yeah. But we're just uh, we're going to look for another Yeah, can you pronounce it? No, 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 no. Nadine, Nadine does have a Eastern European name now. She is called, from now on, she is called Nadine 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 Yeah. And, um, yeah. Your name what? is Ivanche. Yeah. And we're just going to look for a keychain for her daughters and um, another Trrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
There's too much flour in this one. Like it tastes so flowery. I think I like the other one better too. But maybe it's because there was ice cream in it and it just dilutes the flavor or something. And this, this is the pure one. I don't know, it's not bad. It's still like freaking delicious. But uh, yeah, I think the, the, the other one from yesterday was better. Tasted better. Of course, before we leave, we have to do something. One final thing. Get Czechoslovakian sweets and candy. So let's see what they have. <laughs> Michael Jackson is on. <laughs> All right, we're going to pick something nice and then you'll see it in the video. Oh my gosh. We, well, we didn't miss our bus, but we thought we were going to miss our bus. We were just running around the bus station. <laughs> like some crazy people. <laughs> With the trolleys. So the noise. <laughs> oh my God. This was horrible. We thought the bus would leave at six, <laughs> but we didn't look on the ticket. And we were just like six, 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 six. And so now it's six. And the bus leaves at 6.15. And so we saw a bus. We saw a leave. bus leaving. Like, so you <laughs> see Flick's bus here. And there was like, just when we arrived, a bus drove off. And we, <laughs> I was running after the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I was running after the bus, but I couldn't like oh, catch up with him. Oh my gosh. We this thought we were like... going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep in the bus station. <laughs> like some homeless people. Oh my gosh. But luckily the bus leaves at 6.15, so... Yeah, it's uh, 6.10 now. Yes. Alright, let's go to our platform 13. Yeah, okay. Behind us. Nadine is still dying over here. <laughs> she just she just can't even sit up straight because she was thinking about me trying to catch the bus, like running after the bus. This is insane. Crazy <laughs> what? Why? Why? The, the people, like the people who were sitting in the bus, and they they must have like saw me running behind the bus. <laughs> like some crazy. <laughs> Oh my oh. gosh, okay. No, oh, I can't. <laughs> no, this is like, this is horrible. We should <laughs> never do this. And it's like, we're saved by luck because we honestly thought the bus was leaving at six. And we, and then just the people at the platform, I asked them like, what are you going to Amsterdam? They were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, with a six o'clock bus? And the, the girl was like, she was scared. She was like, no, 6.15. I was like, yes, yes. Do you know that meme with the baby like, Winning in life, 6.15. Oh my gosh, okay. So we're just going to wait for the bus here and die laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bus is coming, but it's actually, it's coming out of the same direction that I ran after the bus. So what if it's the same bus just <laughs> turning around <laughs> and it's the same driver. He's like, oh, it's this mad woman again. <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh, we made it. We made it. Yes. The bus is just driving away. And look how dark it got outside. It's crazy. It's just like, what, in 15 minutes, something like that? So looking forward to sleeping for a long time. We both again have two seats for ourselves. It's gonna be amazing. The bus is empty and calm again because right before this, there was like a big group of young people like filling up the whole bus, and I think they were going out just in a different city than their own, and they just took the bus. So I was just thinking about my own time growing up, but that I used to like take the train to Amsterdam and then take the first train back. Apparently, you could do that with the next bus too if you want to go out in a different. Place. So that was uh, that was <laughs> that was quite crowded, but now thankfully it's um, it's calm again. I'm just going downstairs to the washroom to brush my teeth, and then I can take some more naps. It's basically the same thing I do when I'm in an airplane. Sometimes when I'm in an airplane, I also remove my makeup 
because this is going to be like a 12 hour drive but in the airplane like the air gets so dry that it feels really uncomfortable to have makeup on but I, in the bus I am not uncomfortable I'm just going to remove my lips and um, half of my makeup is gone anyway <laughs> doesn't matter I'm just being a little bit lazy bus slash uh, airplane washroom pampering routine <laughs> no, no just kidding uh, I was just watching some pampering routines lately on YouTube and I was like uh, that would be so funny because one time I did take like one of those sheet masks in an airplane so it was to get a red mush eye <laughs> we were wearing those sheet masks and everybody was looking at us like what the hell are they doing hey it was nice in an airplane it's really nice to have those sheet masks because your skin gets so dry yeah. Luckily, I don't have to crawl right now. My mouth is so fresh and so clean again, and I already took out my contacts, ready to take ultimate naps. I hope you like the vlog because I honestly I adore that. And if you're not already subscribed, you click that subscribe button because we're going to be traveling a lot more together. Yeah, this is mine. Chocolate, strawberries. Mm -hmm.